my welds aren't sticking together. <laughs> okay, well that's that's kind of general, but um, there are a few things that you can do to address this situation in most cases. So what that what that means is my welds aren't sticking together is you don't have good fusion right that the metal is not melting together enough to stay together right you don't have a very strong bond between uh, the pieces that you're welding together now one thing that you can do and this is something that a lot of people myself included sometimes overlook is just making sure that you have a good clean material to work with. You want to make sure it's free of all the excess oils and and stuff that comes on it when it comes from uh, the factory and if you're using uh, recycled stuff or something just some scrap you want to make sure that it's clean of rust and dirt and debris. Now don't just use any sort of random chemical cleaners that you have around the house or the shop. You want to make sure that you actually use something that's for the metal uh, because when you go back and weld over that stuff it could create some pretty nasty fumes that could be pretty harmful and or make you feel pretty crappy. Another thing is just to make sure that you are actually using the correct welding settings. Now you can look on any machine, every machine known to man unless someone has removed them from the, from the machine will have all of the specs that that machine can actually handle. In most cases it's on the on the door so you open the door to the welder and it's going to be there be a chart on there. Now if you don't see uh, your material on the your chart that probably means that the welder that you're using is not for that type of material. So if you're using a smaller more portable type welding machine uh, and you don't see half inch material on there well that means that, that machine can't handle half inch material so that could be one reason why your welds aren't sticking is your welding your welder just can't handle it now another thing to consider is just the welding technique that you're using uh, depending on how you are joining your materials if you're butting them up to each other or if you're welding them on top of each other are you trying to do too much too soon meaning don't be afraid to make more than one pass. Everyone tries to do things in one weld and that might not be enough for the material that you're using. 